Hi, this is Monica Esterberg from Fat Camera. Today we're going to take a look at how to build your own Weebly website. Go ahead to the Weebly login page, or if you need to, you can go ahead to the um, Weebly sign in page. It should look like this. You have a choice of the two. I've already been here before, so I'm going to choose login. Okay, um, you can see here it pulls up the most recent website that I've been working on. But I want to create something new. So you can see on the left I have all these different websites. And at the very bottom I can choose to add a site. Do you need a website or do you need one with the online store? We're going basic today and just choose I need a website. What is the purpose of your website? Uh, that's up to you because all these templates allows you to choose a different theme. I always like to go with portfolio since I'm an artist um, and photographer um, and I like to showcase my work. So let's choose this nice simple design right here. Okay, if you like what you see, you like the layout of it, go ahead and click start editing. I gotta choose a domain name. That means I need to choose what people will type in to be able to reach my page. And then you can take a look for it right now. You can also transfer one in if you already have one. Um, there's a subdomain here, .weebly.com, that you're gonna have to choose before yours. So let's search for Estabrook Tutorial. 2020.weebly.com. Let's see if that one's available. All right, it looks like Estabrook Tutorial 2020 Weebly. Let's see, subdomain, this one right here. So you gotta go down, I don't want a professional domain, I want a subdomain because that's what's free. So I'm gonna choose the free option down here. And click done. All right, your, your site is ready to go. I mean, you already have pictures in it. If you were to push publish, this is what it would look like at this time. Um, the basics of a Weebly website is that you're gonna have the title of your site and then you have pages up here and you can continue and add more pages as you like. Now, this has a template for you of how you can design the front of your page. If you don't like this, uh, I'm gonna show you ways that you can easily change this. So the first thing I need you to do is change the name of your site. We'll call this the Estabrook Tutorial 2020. Easy enough. Um, you can see I have a home page, an about page, and a contact page. Um, for an artist, you maybe want to have like a portfolio page. Um, so let's take a look at how we design what pages. This is the most important part about setting up your website. You can see here I have home, about, and contact when I click on pages. Those are the pages I currently have. For me, I like to have a blog page as my home page because that's where all the current information is going to be. If I had a, um, a photo shoot over the weekend and I want to share it, I want it to be the most current information. So when you come to my home page, that's what you're going to see. So that's the way I do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page. And notice I have different options here. I could have products or categories, a blog or standard page. All of these three pages are standard pages. That means they don't change. Um, instead, I'm going to try doing a blog page, which means it will change every time I post it. So I'm going to call it blog and I'm, a, I'm fine with that heading. Um, and now I can decide if I want to have a header here or I can do no header. Let's take a look at the difference. So instead of having a header, you would just have the content right here. I kind of like that. I like quick and easy. You don't need to scroll down to see what the content is on my page. So I'm fine with, um, with how that looks. I'm going to click done. And notice it shows up at the end of my list of pages. I want it to be at the beginning because once it's at the beginning, this little home button shows here. That means that when you type in my website address, this is the home page that's going to show up. I no longer need um, a quote home page, but I kind of like this setup right here. Maybe this could be my gallery. Okay, um, no header again. I'm going to go ahead and go back and it saves it. 
and is now called gallery. Um, about page and contact page, you could probably combine those into one, so I'm probably going to limit that. Um, and let's see what the contact page looks like. See if I like it. Contact us. And let's look at what the about page looks like. Okay, I really think you could combine these into one, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep the contact page because I like the layout of it better. So let's delete the about page. So now our contact page, don't like that word, I'm gonna call it about. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and set up our pages. We've got three and we'll start with the blog. The blog is structured differently. Um, right here, you're gonna write something about you. If you wanna call yourself an artist, you can do that if you want to. Artist, change this so it looks less awkward. All right, archives, I don't need archives. And categories, I don't need categories, but I do like to keep the RSS feed the reason you keep the RSS feed is somebody could subscribe to your blog and anytime you post a blog, it would show up into their inbox. So um, I like to keep that. All right, so my blog is set up. Um, I'm ready to start doing my first post. So I click on the words down below here to new post. And I call this welcome to my site. And um, that's the title's already made for you. It already puts the date there for you and there's a space for people to comment on your site, your blog post. And then it says here, drag elements. So what, notice what I'm gonna do um, is I can drag any of these basic elements to give out information that I would like. So for example, um, if I wanted to include a YouTube video, I could put it right here, a file. Um, Let's see here. The most basic is I like to use an image. I like to usually have images with my posts. And I like to add some text underneath. I don't need a title because I already have a title. So there's a difference between title and text. Text is gonna be smaller. Um, to go ahead and put a picture in here, you just click on it. You get to upload from your computer or you can search for one on the internet if you need to. Here we go, I'm gonna use one of my daughter's images. Notice um, it takes a while to upload large pictures. If your pictures are large um, size, it will take longer. You cannot upload anything on Weebly that is more than 10 megabytes. There we go. Um, that's the photograph and now I'm going to do a little explanation here. And when you're ready to publish it, you're gonna go ahead and click the word post. If you want to publish it later, you could have chosen a different option or you could have saved it as a draft if you weren't ready to post. So it says here that it's been added to a blog page, but I haven't actually published my website yet. So it's not gonna be live yet. It's not gonna be live until I publish the for, for the first time. So I click the word publish. And now my site is being published for the very first time and you can see here is the actual URL code. So I like to right click on that and copy link address and you can put it in another tab. There you go. And see what the live version looks like. Um, one thing that I'm looking here, I kind of think, I feel like I do need a header image. I'm not liking how text heavy the top part of this is. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna change this page to have a header. So all I do is go to my pages. I choose header. I think this will just look a little bit easier. And I'm gonna call this blog. Okay, so now I'm identifying what this is. This is my blog. Um, you can change this image out right here, replace the header, um, edit the background. You can choose a photograph or texture, anything like that, a gradient. Um, 
let's just choose a brown. I'm going to choose a different color. Let's choose a different color. Something a little bit more bold. Nice. Go ahead and publish to update. All right, let's look at how we can add images for our gallery. I want to show you that this gallery isn't an actual um, uh, gallery as um, defined by Weebly. This is actually several different independent images that you can put into these boxes. If you want to go that route, you can go that route. If you don't like this, I can show you another, another way that's going to be more um, simple for your, for your um, purposes. So if I go to this um, page here, and I have a choice of adding an actual gallery. I can add images or I can add a slideshow for showing my images. So this is already set up for you as a gallery. Um, it's been programmed for you so that when you click on it, it will expand and make a larger image for you. You could do a slideshow instead, or you could do another gallery where you get to put in multiple images. So I'm going to show you how to do each of them. If you do choose image, uh, mind you, you cannot expand on it and people can't zoom in on the picture. So I don't, I like to only use image when it's something I, that's low resolution. I don't want them to be able to um, get in close to. I use gallery for showing multiple images. You can just bring this over and drag and drop it in here. And this is where you can upload multiple images. I selected all three and I'm going to click open. Now one thing you're going to notice when this gallery is created, notice how it automatically trims my images for me so that they fit into specific boxes. I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm going to teach you guys how to fix that after this uploads. Okay, so I got my three images pulled up here and notice that my gallery already has it set up for three images across. I could choose to do two images. I could choose to do four and add more here, um, but I like it to fill out completely and evenly based on the number of images you put inside. Um, so notice it did crop every single image. The cool thing is though, when you click on the image, it will expand to full size. So there's some options here. You can space it out. Um, so that you have more space up top. You can design it any way you like to. You can cap, um, design how you want the captions to occur. And in the advanced setting is where you get to find out um, if you want to have a border. Let's say I want to have a border on each of these. And the image ratio. Right now you can tell they've cropped it to a rectangle. You could crop it to a square or you could do none. And I like to choose none because I get to see the full image. It doesn't crop any of my artwork. So that's up to you how you want to present that, but that's my favorite way to present it. Over here, you can click on the image and you can start to caption it. And let's go ahead and publish and take a look. There it is. Notice they look really small on the page, but as soon as I click, it will um, give you a close up version. The cool thing is about a gallery too, is that you can just slide forward instead of going back out every single time. So um, the way that um, Weebly set up this gallery, it's not like it, you can treat it like a slideshow. And that's why I don't like this is just individual images right here. Um, so you can choose if you like that style better, or if you like something like this better. Finally, let's look at the about page right now. It's an image and then information about you. And that's one of the last things you want to get set up for when you're ready to publish. Change out your image. You guys already know how to do that. You can say here about, and then you can add some information here. And then there's contact information, and this will go directly to your email address that you've signed up with this account. So I've gotten several different um, emails or contacts from people who are interested in my artwork from using this contact page. Now notice you have a lot of other options here for adding um, images or files. This is how you add a file um, right onto your page. So I'd encourage you to play around with any of these extra tools here 
so that you can um, customize your website the way that you like. Let me know if you have any questions about um, how to get this set up. This is a very basic introduction, um, but I think that this is so user-friendly, you're gonna be able to explore this um, further. If you have any questions about things you'd like for me to go over on Weebly websites, just go ahead and put it in the comment section. Thank you.